All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com or follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Today we are in Tableau. I'm going to show you a useful technique uh, to apply to your data points called jittering, right? So that's not when you drink too much coffee. That's uh, It's a way of dispersal, um, uh, a way of scattering uh, of your data points. It's something that's useful uh, if we were to use a box in Whisker Plot, which I will show you here. So I've got NBA data uh, for points scored per game. And I'm just going to show you here. Let's grab uh, our points scored per game, bring that up to rows. And we're going to go to analysis and unaggregate our measures. And I'm going to bring the player here over to tooltip. That's the player name. And if we were to look at these points, well, first, let's let's do this. Let's uh, change the box in, in whisker plot here. So if you look at this, right, it's it's very difficult to get a sense of the data because all the points are stacked on top of each other right and so just a quick box plot uh, uh, refresher here so this is a, our, our lower or what they call it, lower whisker here so 0 to 25 percent of our data uh, is in this quartile and uh, from from here to here basically this is 25 percent of our data this is 50 percent of our data all the way down this is 75 percent of our data all the way down and this isn't quite 100, as you can see, there are points above this, but but it's close, right? And if you exclude outliers, so these are outliers, right? Um, these are guys that are just so far and above uh, the average uh, player, right, that they're outside of the, uh, the uh, whisker plot. Steph Curry, James Harden, Kevin Durant, Marcus Cousins, uh, Anthony Davis, uh, LeBron is, is in here, Russell Westbrook. So these guys score a lot of points, right? So, again, like I said, it's very difficult to get a feel for the other guys, right? It, it, it's difficult to, to see um, how this data is, um, uh, is spread out here, right? Because they're all stacked on top of each other. So how can we remedy that? So first of all, we're going to create a parameter. You're going to go up here, and you're going to go to Create Parameter. And I already have one uh, pre-created. Let's take a look at it. Uh, so the Jitter Parameter. Just put in one, uh, one for now. We'll, we'll change it. Uh, make sure it's an integer, say OK. And of course, you want to show uh, the parameter control, which I'm already doing. Let me get rid of this, right? You can see our jitter parameter here. And the next thing you want to do is you want to create a calculated field, right? Go here, create calculated field. And this is your jitter uh, calculated field. Let's take a look at it. It's the index, uh, default function, the modulus operator, and the jitter parameter that we just created. So click OK. So so how does this work? Let's take jitter, throw it up here on uh, columns. You can see we have just one row of, uh, of data points, right? Uh, so if, let's change this to two. Guess what happens? We have two uh, columns, uh, so to speak, of data points. And why is that? If I were to take a look, let's let's take a look at this index result. This is not something you have to create. Uh, just for uh, display purposes here. I'm just going to take the res the uh, the index function here and throw it on tooltip so you can see how this works. So let's take a look at James Harden right here. His index result, remember, we're, we're looking at index divided by the j jitter parameter, so 206 divided by 2, right? So James Harden is the 206th uh, row within this data set, so to speak, and if you take that 206 divided by 2, it's an even number, so there's no remainder, right? Um, so that gets thrown, uh, his, his data point gets thrown on this zero column, right? These are all, so if we look at all these guys, they're all even. Index result 326, 554, uh, 176, and these are the odds, right? Index result of 117, divide that by two, you're gonna have a remainder of one, right? So as I change my jitter parameter, right, I get more and more columns to the point where if I just pick a really big number, I like 32 on this sample, um, I get a nice little spread here. And at this point, I can just go in and maybe size things up a little bit here, play around with the opacity, um, go borders here, black borders. And you see I get a nice little spread here of my data points, right? Um, very easy for me to to just go in here and, and get a feel for who's uh, who's in this uh, 50 to 75th uh, percentile <laughs> area right here. Um, I can still take a look at uh, all my, my outliers, so to speak, the big dogs. Um, and if I wanted to, 
I could bring in another dimension. Let's bring in the uh, position and throw that here. Let's go to, let's fit that to height. And I'm going to get rid of, uh, let's exclude. I've got a couple, there are a couple positions in here that have one or two guys in it. We don't need, we don't need to show them in here, right? So I've got this nice little, let's, uh, let's hide this. We know it's a position. I'm going to go in here and do some formatting. Bear with me uh, on the lines. I like to get rid of the, let's get rid of the column divider. No, no column divider. Well, you know what? I'm going to keep the column divider. That's fine. Um, let's go into lines here. Get rid of these grid lines. Say none. All right. Get rid of the zero lines. All right. And let's get rid of this. All right. All right. And finally, uh, let's, let's take a look at the, um, uh, on the color. I want to throw the position just on here just to give a little, differentiation. So as you can see from my centers, DeMarcus Cousins, within his position, he's way above the other uh, centers as far as points per game during this season. Um, we got Blake Griffin, outliers, Steph Curry, I bet this is Durant, and LeBron on the small forwards uh, position, uh, James Harden, uh, DeMar DeRozan on Toronto, but you get the point here. So we've got a nice little spread. It makes it very easy to uh, get a feel for our data as opposed to all these points stacked on top of each other. So um, hope you found this tip uh, useful. Uh, take this uh, tip, get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.